Hello, I'm Amanda Mosing, the pastor of discipleship here at Church of the Savior, bringing you this week's midweek moment. You'll notice I'm here in our great hall where some decorating is underway. We already have several of our trees up in anticipation of the start of Advent, which is this Sunday. Um, but until then, I'm going to talk to us a little bit today about next major holiday, which is Thanksgiving. Now, Thanksgiving is a time of year where many of us are mindful of what we are thankful for. You know, for, for a lot of us, it's a time where we gather, where we feast, where we celebrate, and just enjoy one another's company. And, and thankfully, because of vaccines, um, we can celebrate this year in the ways we couldn't last year. So thanks be to God for that. But I invite you as we enter this time of thanksgiving as gratitude and thankfulness are on our minds to reflect on the things that you are thankful for. There's so much to be thankful for. And you know, it can be a good habit practice to think about those things every day, what we're thankful for. It roots us in a mindset of gratitude and it kind of changes our perspective as well. And the things we're thankful for don't have to be major, they don't have to be big. It can be that hot cup of coffee that you enjoy in the morning. It can be a nice walk outside and seeing all the beautiful leaves, time spent with family, a good book, whatever it is for you. I invite you to reflect on what you are grateful about in this season and what you are grateful to God for. God has given us so much and has so many things to us and for us. So I invite you to offer thanksgiving to God this week and make that a regular part of your day, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> to offer your gratitude to God this week. On behalf of my colleague, Reverend Andy Call, we are thankful for you, for your faithfulness, your generosity, for your presence in this church, in this congregation, for your heart of service, of giving. We are thankful for you and pray for God's blessings upon you in this season. Now I'll let you know that this will be the last midweek moment until the new year. We are going to take the season of Advent off to prepare and get ready for um, another chapter. I mean, they're not going to look all that different, but to just reset and be ready to offer you our best selves at the start of the year when we start our new sermon series. So you won't see us on midweek moments for the next few weeks, but we pray that you will find ways to remain connected. We have an Advent devotional that is available if that is something that interests you, uh, to remain connected in that way. But we are praying for you, we are thanking God for you, and wishing you just a really happy and blessed Thanksgiving. Grace and peace to you. Amen. <laughs>